this is the beginning of the second part of the video on how to create a PayPal Buy It Now button with multiple options. So we have uploaded the HTML file. Now let's go into let's let's go and create a new page in this site. I'm gonna call it Buy It Now page, and it will be visible to our users, including the menu, and then click update. Now, if you check on the mod dropdown, there is no iframe module inst installed yet in this website. So I have to download and install it. I have covered the iframe module in a past video. So I'm just going to skip that part and install it right away. So I'm back here in the Byte Now page. And I have just installed the iframe module, which I which you will be able to see here in the module drop down. Here's the iframe. I'm going to add it to this page. I'm right? gonna call it uh, shirt. I'm gonna add to the page. So here's the iframe module. I'm going to the settings of the iframe so I can make it point to that form that we have just uploaded to the site. So let's go to the action menu and then let's go to edit iframe options. So from here, link type, I can specify a URL or a page in my website. In our case, we're going to have to specify a URL because even though, or actually, no, actually, no, let's specify as, as URL. I thought that we could do that with a file, but I don't want to try that. So as a URL, what will be the URL that will point to that file? Remember that we have uploaded to the root folder, to the portal root folder. So let's select URL. Now the URL will be the URL of my site, which is a, a local site in my case. This is the URL of my site, my local site. And then it will be slash portals, which is the folder that stores all the portal files slash zero because this is my my only portal and slash the file name that I have given which is paypal.html that's the reason why it's important to know which folder you have you are uploading your the, this file to so this is the URL for my file if you want you can actually try this you can try this URL you can copy the URL and go to another tab and you can paste it there See if it will come up. It does come up, you know. So I have just proven that this file is really there. So let's go back to our page. Now we can put a width. Let's make it, uh, let's say, 300 by height. Let's make it 300 as well. We can always adjust that afterwards if we realize that it's not looking that good. Auto height. Well, actually, you can also use this. I'm not gonna try it right now. Scrolling, no, I'm not. I don't want scrolling. I don't want to show scroll bars. Border, I don't want to show borders either. Neither because we want to make that iframe to look as seamless as the page that it is placed in. So after we have done this, let's click save. Now here, here we have we ha we are we have the PayPal dot HTML file being loaded right here paypal html paypal.html html file being loaded right here inside the iframe now let's give it a try let's select large let's click buy it now so it's loading the page and we should be redirected now to paypal which is excel to where we are and it's actually showing me the name of my company again this is uh, particular to my to my paypal account and it's actually showing the option size large the total amount twenty dollars let's hit back and try another let's see small click buy it now and it should show now small instead of large perfect it's showing small quantity one total item Ten dollars, and of course, if we select me and fifteen dollars, click buy it now. It will give us a medium size for fifteen dollars. 
but it's actually giving me this code message maybe because I have tried many times so I guess it's trying to be secure here let's see click continue yep so it's showing median so what we have done actually worked quite well and with that you can now set up buy it now button paypal buy it now button with different options for the same product again if you start to go more and more and more complex from here you may want to think about any commerce solution full e-commerce solution but if you just have a couple of products you either can either use buy it now buttons for each product or if you have different sizes you can actually select different sizes and uh, now before i finish the video i just want to show one setting that it might be important if the background of your page is different from white so if you go to the edit iframe options and scroll down under other options you may want to check allow transparency so what will happen here is that the internal form the internal HTML page that we are showing here the background will become transparent and it will come through the color of the of the page that is sitting on okay so this is the way you will go about setting up a buy it now button with multiple options in PayPal and your your .NET website thank you very much and bye for now